The amazing Holland Grill. The amazing Holland Grill. You know, uh, earlier this morning we started with sausage and biscuits. Yes, sausage and biscuits on the amazing Holland Grill. This is a staple in all our demonstration. I think it's a program that uh, the company's run for over a decade. It's meatloaf, ground chuck, Angus meatloaf, uh, and it's made. Now, as you see this meatloaf, you would think, oh, he's got to set that down in that full. Because on any other grill with the flame coming up, without the patented drip pan that Brad Holland patented in their late 80s, early 90s, and that's the key to Holland Grill. There's no flare up, the only grill made. This meatloaf, bang! No foil when you're dealing with a Holland. As a matter of fact, you're going to get rid of foil out of your repertoire of grilling. You've got to use foil in the average meatloaf scenario because the, fl the flame, that meatloaf is right there. 45 to 50 minutes. How do I know that? Because Hollands have that unique burner, cast iron burner that's unique to all Holland grills. It's preset. That allows you to do things like this. I'm going to simply poke a few drain holes in this Holland grill. Oh, we're not afraid of the grease and juices dripping down because you won't have flare up in the amazing Holland. I'm going to hit that with a little Carolina season. This is a staple in our demonstration. I'm going to sprinkle a little Carolina season. The, there is a meatloaf in our Holland grill cookbook with over three, four hundred recipes. Yes, I said that many recipes, things you wouldn't imagine cooking on the grill. We'll set the lid down. You know, as I look at that, it looks a little lonely in there. So I think I'm going to put a pork loin right next to it and cook them at the same time. 45 to 50 minutes on the meatloaf. We, we also probe our meat here in our demonstration to make sure that the food is internally done. We'll run it to 165 to 168 degrees. So we're going to put a pork loin on right next to it. It's about a four and a half pound, five pound pork loin. I use the Mediterranean Greek, it's what we use exclusively to coat this baby. Oh, I'll put a little more on there. Can't go wrong with this Mediterranean Greek seasoning. It's wonderful on the pork loin. Well, I've got this up, for those of you cooking, I mentioned time and temperature. Uh, the probe is an essential unit to have on any grill. And we're going to probe this meatloaf. I mentioned I want to bring it to an internal temperature about 168. We'll set a probe, not too far down. You don't want to get close to the grid. You want about halfway. Most probes will have a little indentation at the tip, so use that as a monitoring port. Now we're ready to go. We're going to close this back down and let it rock and roll, per se. I meant the internal probe for cooking is an essential factor. Many grills will come with a thermostat on the lid. Some of us think that's just more of an ornament and decoration. That lid, it helps you to know that your grill is heating and what temperature it comes to. But it is not a, in conduct, a direct conjunction with your food. You need to know not what the compartment temperature is. You need to know what your food temperature is. So that's why we probe it. Boom, you can get it just right every time. Bring things to the correct temperature. There's a lot of charts out there put out by the government that will help you with food chart ratings of where things should be internally. We'll let that cook. We've got our probe set. We've got our probe set. One of the models that we offer at HG Distributing. I've set it for uh, beef and we'll let it rock and roll. We'll see where we're at. Hey, earlier in this show, uh, in the demonstration, we put the meatloaf on as promised. Bam! There it is. 168 degrees, the beeper went off, cooked by timing. I never turn that meatloaf. It's right where it lays. The amazing Helen Grill. No, don't try this at home and you can see why. I never had to tend to it. A time and temperature was my main ratio, and that's what I used to cook this. I'll remove the probe. Bam. Look how beautiful that is. Look at that caramelized body. That no flare up on a Holland grill allows you to cook some of the best foods you've ever tasted. I'm mentioning all the material parts of a Holland, how great it is. Don't leave out the fact that no grill cooks food any better than a Holland. It's the most delicious stuff you ever had. Ground chuck Angus meatloaf. Coming off the platter. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. While I've got this open, remember that pork loin that we put on to keep the company in there? Well, it's all on its own now. We're going to just shift that over. 45 to 50 minutes on that. I told you an hour and 10 minutes on that one. I'll be right on time. People think I'm a real genius when I cook on this Holland grill. And it's not me, it's just that I know how to keep track of time. I learned how to tell time in third and fourth grade. Bam! We can now insert this probe into this, okay? 
I'm not going to do it right now, but I'll put this probe. I want to wipe that probe. Always clean your probe and always screw up your grid when you're changing meats. I'll put that probe in. We're going to bring this to 154 degrees is what I like on this nice, lean pork loin. The standard is 160 in the old days. The government has lowered that standard to 145. I like about a 154 on that unit. Earlier you, in the uh, demo, you saw us put this ground chuck meat roast directly on the Holland Grill. 45 minutes is problem. It's like this every time. I've been doing this a decade. Bam! It's always been the same. People think I'm the greatest grill master of all time. They don't realize this. Look at the texture of that. If you try this on any other grill, the drippings alone would cause too much flame to come up. You scorch the bottom, the top would be raw. I didn't have to flip this. Hollands oscillate when they cook. The heat circulates. That's the direction of the pan. So big items, you don't have to turn. We got a five pound meatloaf working. Do I look worried? No. If you're looking, you're not cooking. I'm over here talking and on TV, and I've got all that meat cooking. No problem. Let's get someone to try this uh, ground chuck meatloaf here. Look at the texture on that. Oh, it's delicious. Mm, mm, mm. Meatloaf on the grill. My God. I showed you as I took off how nice the bottom caramelized. Let's see, we'll try this meatloaf. Enjoy. I was cooked on the amazing Holland Grill. Here's our brochure, my new lineup. I call them the Jackson 5. Get yourself a Holland. You're not cooking and you're not living unless you're eating off a of Holland. All the great things that this grill does. The genius of Brad Holland. The best grill in America for two decades, made in America. We haven't gone to China or Russia or Japan or wherever else, like all these other grill companies that we Americans built. We've stayed at home. Come on up here and try. Look at the texture on this meatloaf. Meatloaf on the grill. This gentleman right over here with the white shirt on. Mm -hmm. Nothing cooks like a Holland grill. There you go, sir. Cooked on the amazing Holland grill. Come on in here, brother. Jimmy's ready. Uh, Cooks on the amazing Holland How grill. is it? Thank you, sir. Got a pork loin on deck. Got chicken legs to do. We'll do pizza. Uh, if I get happy, I might do some monkey bread. Thank you. You know, earlier in the demo, along with the meatloaf, we were able to put this pork loin right on the amazing Holland grill. Once again, I put fat side down. I coated it with the Mediterranean Greek uh, pepper. Oh, can't do this This is a marvelous season for pork, fish, and what have you. Every demonstration I do, people rush into the store to buy some of the season, even if they can't buy the grill. I'm letting this rest. That's a tradition with the thing, but remember, I never turn this. Look at the golden brown, round and round. On a Holland, the heat oscillates. You don't need a rotisserie. I never touch this grill. I was just looking good on camera, signing interviews and whatever else was going on. I paid little attention to it. I knew in an hour and 15 minutes the, the food would be done. Once again, that attests to the ability of having a preset burner. You know exactly how long it takes to cook. You cook by time and temperature with the amazing Holland Grill. How you doing, man? Many of our demonstrators, I've seen them take foil and put over this to let it rest. But as you can see, look at the eyes you or the juice, as you guys say in America. See, it's already steeping out of this pork roast. It's going to be juicy. It's going to be tender. It's going to be delicious. It's cooked on the amazing Holland Grill. Uh, there's a big guy standing over here, and he looked pretty impatient. I don't think I'm going to test his patience. I'm going to start working on this, uh, on, on this uh, pork loin. We'll get that end cut off. Oh, many folks will die for this piece right here. Oh, look at that end piece. I better have this one. This is called quality control. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Excellent.